Ravens versus the Colts. Lamar versus the Colts defense. I believe this is going to be a good game. I ain't going to say nothing, Jess. So, Raven versus the Colts. Lamar versus the Colts defense. The Colts defense is actually better than what a lot of people might think. I believe they already had like, I don't know how many pick sixes this year. I know they had a lot. I know they 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 were going MP Juice Man on that mug. I know they had a lot, and I believe they are the number one defense right now. For right now, I think they are. I think the Steelers moved to number three, and the Ravens are number four. I think for this week, but I respect their defense, man. All you see is them getting sacks, literally. That's what every time I looked looked at the Colts, I'm like, dude, they are getting to this quarterback, and nobody really giving them their respect. They're five and two, just like the Ravens. That's why I believe this is no wishy washy game. Now we know. Lamar had a bad game last week. Then come around, got another top defense. So Lamar gonna have to step it up on this one. He cannot have back to back bad games. Just can't happen. And their defense can get to the quarterback. And we all know Ronnie Stanley, unfortunately, is gone. He's out for the season. Then on top of that, I believe Phillips. I believe Phillips is gone. And <laughs> the Colts already have for as defense. They can intercept that ball. They have three pick sixes. They got Xavier Rose. I was hoping the Ravens were going to look at him. I always like Xavier Rose. I, he, uh, even when he's with uh, his other team before he they, he went to uh, the Colts. But. And it's going to be interesting to see who Xavier Rose is going to be since Mr. Is activated. But I'm going to get to that when I talk about the offense. So, hopefully, Lamar can go out there, and that'll be the, like the last bad game he had this year. All the way to next year, that'd be the last bad game he had. And then they linebacker. Oh God, Leonard. The boy, the man is a beast. The man is a beast. He is so good. He's so underrated. People don't talk about him a lot, and that's what I I don't I don't I don't respect that. But they don't talk about him a lot. 
and he's really good. They have DeForest Buckner, uh, Buckner from um, San Francisco. <sighs> Man. Lamar going to have him time. Their offensive line is going to have them a time. Hopefully, they step it up so we can get this groove going. Because I do not want to have two losses. Back-to-back losses? No. But I believe Lamar is going to do his thing. I believe he's going to not have that slump like he did last week. And also, we have Dez on the sideline. Hopefully, Dez can stay 100% healthy. And if something does go down where we are down in points, I would love for them to show me if Dez is over there hyping up Lamar. Because Lamar needs that and he needs to learn that himself so he can pass that on to others as well. So that's going to be interesting to see. Now for as my Ravens. The defense, oh man, the defense is coming. The defense is coming kind of back because Marlon Humphrey is out. But we did receive some good news today that they have activated. They have activated Tyrus Bowser, Patrick Queen, Malik Harrison, Deshaun Elliott. I don't care for Terrell Bonds, but in LJ Ford, Cabons, he, he, you already know, you looked at my, my reaction video last week. I was yelling, take him out. But I was so nervous when I heard all of them, literally almost the whole <laughs> starters of defense, except the D line was going to be out, but they're going to be back in. So we're just missing Marlon Humphrey and then Jimmy Smith. They said he's questionable. But that's still some key roles, man. And P. Juice, man, he's way past due. He's way past due with a pick six. Going against Phillip Rivers. Going to have to outsmart that man. Going to have to bait him. Try to get him. Try to get him lacking. Hopefully he can. D-line. I'm not worried about the D-line. The D-line has been awesome. And Ngagwe. Hopefully he can. Um, cause last week he's bringing some pressure. He was bringing some pressure. But then, as well, Judon was out for that little ticky tack. I ain't going to get started on that. I'm not going to get started on that. But Judon, we finally get to see a full, hopefully a full game of Ngagwe and Judon play. That's going to be awesome with that D-line. Oh, my goodness. With Brandon Williams, Wolf, Calais Campbell. It's going to be sweet to see that. So, defense, I'm not highly worried about them because a lot of them back, but it is going to hurt. Hopefully, somebody can make a fumble and represent Marlon Humphrey. Uh, now, for as our offense, I'm going to go with the receiving. Hollywood sent out that tweet. He's not getting the ball enough. And it has been some plays where Lamar just didn't catch him. And I believe him and Lamar had to sit sit down. They talked about it. Uh, And I believe he's going to get more than, what, two targets like he did last week. Then Dez is going to be out there as well. Now, I'm interested, is they going to start Dez right away? Or are they going to put Boykin out there 
then put Dez out there. That's going to be interesting. And also is on the sideline, is Boykin going to be talking to Dez, trying to get that get that knowledge while the actual game coming going on. That's that's something else I want to see. Willie Sneed, he he had a ball game last last week, which was interesting. And Mark Ingram is out. JK and Gus the Bus is gonna finally get their chance to do their thing. And JK showed out last week. Oh my goodness. And I think the Ravens saw if they had that one two punch of Gus and JK for the future. Beautiful. It's like a match. Straight great match. And um, by the way, I get all the way in Russian. You know, I got to speak about my boy. Dev. Ooh, I guess to say that in the whole game next tomorrow too. Dev. Dez. Hopefully, I guess to get that combination going. But he's starting to get out there a couple of more plays. He's starting to get out there a couple of more plays. So hopefully we see him go with some bombs or something. But get back to the rushing. So JK and Gus the bus. And JK is, they showed a stat. I don't have it, but they showed a stat. He, I believe he is leading the league. For his broken tackles. I'm like. Man that do remind me so much of Ray Rice. But even better. Way better. It's, oh man. Then you got to see Gus. And the thing. They were talking about Gus. How Gus is just goes north and south. He just really, really not south. But he really just goes north. Right up the middle. Just right up the middle. Then they cut him out a little bit on it was it wasn't that little curve. It wasn't a little curve. It was just kind of like a little dip. I can't think of the name of that how what that play is. But that was that was getting that was getting Pittsburgh with that. And that showed a lot of people that you don't know what they're gonna do. Mainly with JK. JK is so elusive, so fast, breaking tackle. You it's gonna take more than one person just to bring him down. Because he that dude is strong. Then I get to the passing. Lamar Action Jackson. Man, last week was just it's bad. <laughs> it's just bad. Fumble. Really three interceptions, but two. He misses a couple of passes. Um, he got to work. He got to work on. If you see it open, just doom. Let let him get that. Let him get that yak. Let him get that yak. It's like he's he's looking for the big plays too much when it, actually the big play can be right in front of him. If he just do it, do it, Joe Flacco, just check it down a little bit, check it down real fast. But we gonna see tomorrow. We gonna see. And I believe he's gonna have a really really great game. I think he's going to have that that game where playing gets a really good defense. You know they ain't going to they ain't going to show him their his respect. They ain't going to show him his respect, but then after some what was it Houston or some we don't fear him that Like dude, hush. Hush. You seen what the 
Pittsburgh did. We don't fear him. Man, go on somewhere, bro. Well, it, people just can't help to hate on the man. I'm like, dude, he ain't even worried about you. That's why I hope he just ball out tomorrow. I believe it's going to be a good game. 30, Ravens 30, Colts. I think the defense might show out, though, man. Ravens 30 to Colts. Mm, I like 13. Because they don't have a lot to prove. Then also, we just a few missing pieces. Whoa, wait a minute. Buns. Well, Buns just popped in my head. It was like, Buns, they got Buns. We got Buns out there. You better change that coast score. I take that back. Ravens 30. The Colts. I'm going to give them kick a field goal. Twenty. I give them twenty. Yeah, twenty. Because bonds. Number thirty-eight. Number thirty-eight. I'm gonna have to remember to say that when he do something crazy tomorrow in my reaction video, I should just say number thirty-eight. But y'all tell me what y'all score is. Hopefully it'll be a great game for the Ravens. Everybody stay safe. God bless. Have a good one.